campaigners have been calling for action for years, but it seems that one horrific case led Sierra Leone's president to declare sexual violence a national emergency. The details of it are gruesome beyond imagination. A five-year-old girl allegedly paralyzed after she was raped by an adult male relative. And it fits into a wider pattern in a West African country which saw reported instances of rape and gender-based violence nearly double last year. Well, it's because of the rising numbers of sexual penetration cases and general sexual cases that have been reported generally and made public. That's why I believe this issue resulted in um, a declaration of a, of a national emergency by the president. Do you welcome that declaration? Oh, yes, we do, because we've been trying to get the attention of government since we have seen that um, the numbers are not, we're not going down and the cases were getting more and more rampant and it, it was regardless of the age. And we have cases of young kids being um, violated sexually. And so the fact that the government has heard our cries all these years and that cry, our cries are culminating in such a declaration, we find it to be a well, very little adventure. And it appears that it's one particularly nasty case that has caught the president's attention. Um, multiple of them, the one relating to babies and the one of a five-year-old girl who was sodomized by um, a close relative member that resulted allegedly in have been paralyzed with down. Why is this happening? Why is it on the increase? Well, I think maybe the increase is because more people are coming out to report. Uh, data has been is been now being collected, and that data is now being published. And those numbers were stacked because they only run five centers across Sierra Leone. As big as Sierra Leone is, with about 100 and over 190 chiefdoms, those five centers are coming up with about 3,000 cases. So this is, a, this is a serious case for us because it's constant, it's every day, and the numbers are growing.